videos uh, today's session let's see how to do error handling so you might be doing a different way so today i'll show you the good one or uh, most uh, best practice one okay so let's say whenever you want to do like right uh, there is a transaction or uh, there is a request if you want to make sure whether it is uh, passing as 200 or uh, different error code you want to make it pass otherwise you want to fail it so how we used to do we used to use a regular express webridge find uh, function if the webridge find function is uh, passed then we used to do right uh, of pass or fail it so we can use save count okay and we can make it as a variable right uh, checkpoint so whenever i think hope many of them knows this one webridge find in this response if the web tool, web tools is there then it will return how many times this web tools was there in the uh, response if it is there five times you will get uh, number five in the checkpoint uh, variable this is the variable and it will give you the how many times it was able to find this uh, value web tools value so now if you want to write the code how we used to, do, we used to come here and we used to write if a to i because it is the string and which is having a number right so we have to convert into string to integer okay then what do we have to do uh, so lr underscore eval underscore eval string and uh, pass that uh, check point here okay so now uh, it will return the exact value if it is greater than zero that means pass the transaction okay otherwise fail the transaction okay so let me the front so let me insert transaction i don't think i inserted the transaction here okay so you can insert the transaction here you can use uh, let's save it okay, it, uh, it contains errors. okay let's uh, compile it and see what errors it has So I think I have to close another bracket. Okay. So now, if we compile, it will uh, work. Okay. So do Control T. You will get the. So let's say flight booking uh, scenario zero one check number and uh, click on URL. Okay. Something like that. Click on URL. So this is my transaction. So if the text is there. I want to pass my transaction else i want to fail it so let's say you want to write here else condition as well right pass and fail so then we can use so another uh, one to end it so pass this one so again same thing this so whenever you add in transaction right it will by default it will be auto that means based on your uh, uh, response, your checkpoint, it will be either passing or failing, right? So automatically. Now I want to make it explicitly pass. Okay. When the text point is greater than zero, I want to pass it. Otherwise, I want to fail it. So like this, I want to write custom uh, code for every everywhere let's say here i am using log, login uh, transaction so here also we have to make uh, login transaction and you have to write the same code if the web text is there pass it or fail it okay so login so this is step number two so two is uh, so if this Text check is there, you want to pass it right again. You have to write another save count, okay, and name it as checkpoint 2. Okay, 
something like that so every time it is too much work right writing again you have to write this code and again you have to go to after this transaction and uh, you have to insert here okay now you have to may, may mention if the checkpoint uh, 2 is greater than 0 then pass the login transaction so this is the traditional way we used to do it so this is painful doing same work repeatedly the same code copy paste repeatedly so your script looks not that good right so because we are unnecessarily writing same piece of code again again so why can't we make it a globalized code we can keep it in one place we can call it every time that uh, particular uh, piece of code okay so that your script will look good and uh, the repeated code won't uh, uh, be repeating okay so now we if you see see the same code we are writing here and here the same condition okay so if you run here it will see the text checkpoint based on that it will either pass or fail so let me run one time and we can see whether the transactions are passing or failing okay so see that first checkpoint got six times it will pass okay so let me stop it i might be running more than once i can stop it okay if if you go to logs we can see how many transactions and how many times it passes right so go down slowly see first it is starting click on url transaction and it will check how many times that checkpoint is appearing see the now i am getting the count as six number so now i am writing the code if the count is greater than zero so now the count comes as six right so so it is greater than six now my transaction will pass okay see explicitly it is going and passing the transaction okay now if you do the same thing for login also same thing login transaction is starting and it will go and check how many times web tools is there that is going to save in the text checkpoint 2 now again it will check whether the transaction is greater than 2 then pass it or fail it so now this is the way i wish to write but this is all repeated code if you have uh, 10 places you have to put all 10 places the same code again again right so now i will tell you how to write globally okay now this entire code we can uh, place in a one place and we will call it uh, with a simple name okay so that is very simple what we have to do either you can copy this entire code as is okay control x and go to global.h here we have to write one uh, common function this is functions guys this is c functions uh, so go and refer in the c how to write your own customized functions so you no need to learn too much c functions just uh, follow my code how i am doing so i have written wide don't return anything uh, one variable name called checkpoint which is going to check the uh, error handling error coding otherwise you can make it error code okay something like that so follow the practice best practices capital name e capital name uh, c like that okay error code and in error code we are keeping as a text checkpoint right so whenever the checkpoint uh, is there it will pass the transaction or it will fail the transaction if you see here what we are passing is transaction name directly this is not good passing transaction name because the same code you have to use everywhere right so what we have to do is 
we have to use here char star transaction one variable we have to create in in the this function accepts one uh, character variable so which is name as transaction now i am going to replace this entire place with transaction so now it will take one uh, variable that variable name is transaction if the transaction is there it will pass it if it is a login transaction it will pass login if it is a url it will pass as a url okay so now i have written one uh, small piece of code this this is what you have to do guys that's all why uh, the name of the variable uh, name of the function and uh, this is accepting one variable and we are writing the same code whatever we have written there okay now what you have to do just copy this uh, line of code and uh, here you have to paste it that's all here in the double quotations you have to pass the same string okay that's all because it has to uh, pass one string right so just pass that particular string and give semicolon okay so now what we have to do is whenever you are writing this script point right keep it common name everywhere so that you no need to worry about the checkpoint here it always check the checkpoint only okay so here we have same checkpoint so it will return greater than 6 and it will come and execute that particular code okay now copy this one it will be very easy now go here and remove this entire code paste here now here i give that checkpoint uh, 2 right so here i ask you to keep same name okay so checkpoint so everywhere wherever you are writing use checkpoint only okay now here you have to change it to login because you have to pass login right this will be the login let's say third one here you have to click on uh, find button right so this is another transaction control t here you have to pass on checkpoint right you have to verify so same name copy here and uh, paste here okay now this checkpoint whenever this this code executes this checkpoint the about checkpoint name will be overwritten and this name this number will be saved here okay so now this is the step number three so what we are going to do click on the flight button click on flight button okay so now error code nothing you come here and simply paste this one and pass this one see it's very simple that's what you have to do nothing else so now it is more uh, looking good right you don't have repeated code and uh, by seeing this you know you have written some function you are calling this one whenever you see this color right that means you have written your custom function so where we have written custom function in global dot h here i have written void one function name and it is accepting one uh, transaction name so that is the reason we are passing one transaction name here so the same steps you have to repeat it guys for uh, all the transactions okay so let's run one time and see if it works or not okay so let's keep one breakpoint here and uh, let it uh, see whether it is passing or not now i'm keeping breakpoint my script will come and pass here and we can verify it whether it is really passing the transaction or not okay so see guys so what it does the check checkpoint it return six then it went here see it went to error code then it passed because the checkpoint is greater than six now it passed okay now if i run second time again it will go and uh, execute the second one okay see let me stop now let it complete otherwise so now if you can see 
first time the checkpoint will be executed here error code now if we go down again the second time also checkpoint will be written four number see here right now if we click on this one again it is going here and it is automatically changing the transaction name see so this is the way you have to write your uh, coding right guys error handling this is called error handling so you no need to repeatedly write the same if condition here which looks uh, not good okay so you have to write your own custom uh, function here and keep that uh, repeated code here and just pass only the single line and always change the uh, name of the uh, transaction that's all if you see my uh, above code here i have written uh, nicely okay so here see error handling okay so if i go to error handling i have written small code see transaction name checkpoint the same thing whatever i showed there right same code i have written okay so here i passed everywhere see just pass the name okay see everywhere i have two actions here every action i have passed the same error uh, handling so this is more uh, advanced way of writing error handling guys okay very good way let's say you want to change some code if condition or something you want to make it then if you are uh, writing our traditional way every if condition you have to go and make changes right but this is only one place change if you make something here automatically it will uh, appears everywhere so that is the good thing about this writing custom code you have to make changes to only one place not everywhere okay so that is another one of the good uh, usage of writing custom error hand functions okay so this is the way this is the simple code you should uh, remember guys so wide is wide means it won't return anything uh, and it is the name of the function uh, so this is the variable what it is accepting this variable is accepting character type okay character string so that is the reason here we are passing function name and uh, variable name as the our function okay so yeah that's all guys so thanks for watching please do subscribe and let others know uh, please do share and like my videos so yeah thank you see you all bye